Ladies and gentlemen, meet the brand spanking new 2016 Honda Pilot. Honda flew me down here to test drive this third generation vehicle, but there's a problem. And that is all the information, at least all the important stuff, is embargoed until May 20th. But we at TFL, we like to give you the scoop first. So this is a sneak peek with my man Nick Miles riding shotgun. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. So guys, um, here's how these press intros work. They fly a bunch of journalists down, in this case to Cincinnati, and in the car with me is my good buddy Nick Miles from Test Miles. Good morning, and good afternoon, good evening, depends and, when you're watching. And behind me, <laughs> yes, uh, hiding is our photographer Ian. So they fly us down here and uh, they give us a car to drive, but in this case, Honda has said that everything about this car, almost everything, and that includes price, that includes technical specifications, that includes driving impressions, is embargoed until May 20th. Ooh. Which basically means we can show you how the car looks, we can show you how it drives, but we can't tell you a whole heck of a lot about it, except for the stuff that was released at the Chicago Auto Show where this car debuted. So we can talk about style, Nick. What In do you think of the style? three quarters of a mile. Oh, Turn right on Lincoln Pike. <laughs> Uh, style exterior, the great improvement over the uh, the second generation, this being the third, uh, I think that was very boxy and sort of coming in line with what you expect from Honda. Yeah, yeah, they said that one of their um, key points to hit was making it more sleek. The people who didn't buy the Pilot cited the fact that it was too boxy and it made it look like it wasn't fuel efficient, so they obviously changed it, made it look more stylish, more swoopy, more modern, yada yada yada. I think they added uh, they added these um, LED lights, LED headlights, daytime running lights, and LED tail lights, uh, and they there is they're not as significant as I thought they would be. And by the way, you may be wondering why we've got this navigation. In two and three quarter miles, turn left on Kentucky 177. Talking to us because we have to follow a safe drive route that Honda has given us. So I guess we could go off route, but it creates all kinds of havoc. So excuse the navigation system, but that's just something we have to deal with. You know, I agree. I mean, the colors are, are pretty muted. So we can't talk about the technology that's in this car. But what we can say, Nick, is that a lot of the competing cars like the Highlander, like the Nissan, um, I think Pathfinder. The, yeah, Pathfinder, exactly. Uh, Durango. Even the Durango, Grand Cherokee. Yeah, these are the competitive sets of vehicles. Offer a lot of technology like lane keep assist where the car stays in its lane. Right. Uh, Pre-collision warning where a light lights up, says you're gonna hit somebody, so we're gonna give you a warning, and if you don't hit the brakes, we're gonna hit the brakes for you. Right. Uh, lane, um, uh, adaptive cruise control. These are a suite of technologies that a lot of the competitor set of vehicles have, and I would suspect that Honda would wanna play in that same um, ballpark. Uh, and even some fuel saving technologies like, uh, uh, I would hope that they would put in this car would be like cylinder management, maybe, uh, you know, if they had a V6 engine in it, perhaps that would go and, and not use all, all of the six cylinders. Maybe they would help some fuel yeah, saving. Fuel, fuel, eco fuel economy is yeah. huge. Maybe, uh, maybe a stop start system. Uh, something maybe like something that. like that. Yeah, exactly. That might be something that, that the competitors would have that they'd want to include in this car. That was probably the first uh, unreview <laughs> of a car I've ever done. But what we're trying to do, guys, is we're trying to give you uh, as much as we can within the fine lines and within the limits that Honda has set for us. The reason for that is Honda holds the keys literally to this car. So if we want to have early access to it, we have to play by their rules. And we wanted to give you a chance to take a look at the car as early as possible because one of the things we promised on the fast lane car, Nick, is what? Censorship. <laughs> no, you oh. saw it first. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and please keep in mind, we will have a complete first drive review on uh, May 8th, 20th. Oh, May 20th at 5 a.m. I think that's where the embargo lives. 
Uh, Eastern time. 5 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so please be up by your computer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Set your set your clocks, <laughs> and uh, we'll post that. Uh, what the heck is that? That's uh, over a month and some days away from now. Hey, it's a have, long time. Do you have banjo music? No. We are in Kentucky. We are in Kentucky. Did you bring a gun? <laughs> I wish I did. <laughs> All right, guys, please save the nasty comments and come back on May 20th when we'll give you all the stuff that you want to know. Driving impressions, technical specifications, <laughs> engine specs, all the stuff that we can give you, we will give you, we just can't do it today. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news views and, of course, real-world reviews. If you're wondering where Nathan is, well, he's driving across the USA with Andre, going to the 50 highest points in all 50 states. Ciao. So let me explain to you why we did this sneak peek review. Gonna honk my horn first as I'm driving by the camera to get the B-roll. Why we did the sneak peek review with Nick Miles. When you go on these events as a journalist, they pair you up with somebody as a driving buddy. And this time, luckily, I'm good friends with Nick, so he agreed to help me do a sneak peek of the new pilot. Uh, and that's why you saw Nick in the shotgun seat.